स्टूडेंट्स वेरी हैप्पी टू सी यू ऑल इन दिस फाइन मॉर्निंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन फिजियोलॉजी इन द लास्ट वीक वी हैव सीन द टाइप्स ऑफ मसल कंट्रैक्शन यू मस्ट बी रिमेंबरिंग इट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस a bit a depth physiology in the muscle contraction in the form of reflex how the muscles are producing how the muscle and the nerve fiber they are responsible in produ- producing the reflex action that's what we are going to see in that also there are various types of reflexes are uh, reflexes are available in that we are going to see stretch reflex one of the important type of reflex stretch reflex we are going to see and how the stretch reflex is helpful in physiotherapy while reeducating a weak muscle while strengthening a weak muscle how this particular physiology we are using this physiology is a natural phenomena we use this phenomena in order to strengthen a muscle which is weak due to some problem the muscle might have uh became weak that we are going to strengthen that will be strengthening the program physiotherapy program okay coming to what is stretch reflex before we look at it look at the stretch reflex we need to know what is reflex first of all reflex is a involuntary movement for a particular stimulus okay when the wind blows forcefully we blink the eyes we blink the eyelid it it is a reflex action similarly the reflex action also happens in our musculoskeletal system okay when there is a sensory stimulus is applied on the body surface there is a movement that happens in response to the sensory stimulus some movement will happen some flicker of movement will happen and this movement response is called reflex reflex action it doesn't happen through our conscious control it happens involuntarily without our control it happens it is mediated by it is controlled by it is produced by spinal cord so all the reflex actions are controlled by spinal cord it does not have any influence from the cerebral cortex our conscious control does not have any control okay coming to stretch reflex what is stretch reflex you all know the musculoskeletal muscles which are present all over the body the skeletal muscles okay in the skeletal muscle when you stretch a muscle for example when you stretch the tendon quickly what happens the muscle tension develops when the tendon is stretched the muscle also elongates the muscle fiber elongates when the muscle fiber elongate the immediately after the elongation of muscle fiber the muscle tends to contract by contracting it produces a movement this is called a stretch reflex whenever we stretch a muscle immediately followed by the stretch it contracts automatically without our control involuntarily this contraction is called stretch reflex how this happens we need to understand the mechanism to understand this stretch reflex what is it for example when a skeletal muscle is stretched by pulling the tendon the muscle fiber i told you will elongate when it elongates it produces a tension within the muscle there is a place called in the muscle there is a place called muscle spindle where the tension develops this tension sends a stimulation is a impulse a signal to the spinal cord through the afferent fiber afferent fibers are nothing but the sensory fibers all the peripheral nerves have got two composition sensory fiber and motor fiber will be there you all know that in the physiology so the sensory fiber take the imp- take the signal from the muscle spindle to the spinal cord it goes to the spinal cord there is a, another neuron in the spinal cord which is which we call central neuron or internuncial neuron will be there that convert the sensory impulse into motor impulse 
and tells to the anterior horn there is a cell in the anterior horn portion of the spinal cord which is a motor neuron the motor neuron sends another signal it sends a signal to the muscle that you have to contract now then the muscle contracts okay so if you see there is an arch okay there is a signal from the muscle spindle it goes to the it goes through the sensory nerve fiber and it reaches the spinal cord there is a central neuron that processes the impulse it converts the impulse from sensory to motor and then it comes to the anterior horn cell the anterior horn cell sends the impulse to the muscle and the muscle contracts this is called stretch arc okay uh, this uh, particular uh, stretch flux arch i have uh, uh, plotted here in a simple uh, line diagram you can uh, for your understanding better understanding let us look at it okay as i told you this is the muscle skeletal muscle okay when the skeletal muscle is suddenly pulled suddenly stretched what happens the the tension between the muscle fiber it it increases because of the elongation the tension within the fiber elongates and that tension is perceived by a receptor the receptors available stretch receptors available within the muscle spindle look at this every muscle will have the muscle spindle a group of muscle fiber there will be lot of muscle spindle within a particular muscle so their function is to always monitor what is the tension taking place within the muscle so that tension is perceived by the muscle spindle and the muscle spindle takes information look at this the muscle spindle takes information it goes through the nerve the nerve will always have a sensory fiber and motor fiber i have uh, uh, differentiated with the black color the nerve fiber in the black color the remaining things are all in the blue color okay the muscle fiber takes the well while it is taking the information it is called as afferent nerve fiber nothing but sensory nerve fiber it goes where it goes it goes to the spinal cord so i have brought in here uh, the cross section of the spinal cord here you can see this is the cross section and uh, these are the uh, white matter and the central you can see the h shape gray matter okay in the gray matter you can see this is a posterior side this is the anterior this is the anterior side this is a posterior side so these are the posterior horn and these are the anterior horn you all know in anatomy the sensory fiber will always sensory nucleus will always always present over the uh, posterior horn of the spinal cord whereas the motor neurons will be present over the anterior horn of the spinal cord okay so the sensory now goes to the spinal to, to the through the posterior horn of the spinal cord there there is a central neuron available a short neuron over here I, i mentioned here so there is a junction the junction is called synapse the junction between two neuron is called synapse okay so the post the sensory nerve is is snapping with the central neuron and the central neuron is processing the sensory fiber sensory information into motor information and that sends in a signal to the anterior horn the motor neurons present over the anterior horn of the spinal cord and then the the efferent fiber the efferent fiber takes in impulse the motor impulse which is called as motor nerve fiber or efferent nerve fiber it takes information to the same muscle and makes the muscle to contract so you can see the the arch the reflex arch has got uh, afferent limb and central limb and efferent limb and effector organ the effector organ is always a muscle the muscle only will produce the function the function or movement as a response to the sensory stimulus okay so this is called stretch reflex arc stretch reflex function so the whole diagram is representing the stretch reflex arc that's it so this is a very important uh, physiological uh, phenomena we have what is the use where it is actually happening in our body it is if you, if you see this uh, stretch reflex arc the stretch reflex mechanism is constantly taking place in our anti gravity muscles anti gravity muscles means what when we stand when we stand in the erect, erect, erect posture the muscles which are responsible to maintain the standing posture are, are called anti gravity muscles because they are working constantly against gravitational force so these muscles are called anti gravity muscles for example coming to the lower limb what are the muscles all the hip extensors are anti gravity muscle suppose if these muscles are not working while standing what will happen the hip will flex the hip will fold and we will fall down okay coming to the knee joint all the muscles acting as a knee extensors are anti gravity muscles suppose if these muscles are not working 
the knee will fold, we will buckle and fall down. Coming to the ankle joint, the plantar flexors are anti-gravity muscles. Suppose if they are not, not contracting and functioning, the ankle will fold and we will fall down. So the plantar flexors are the ankle joint, knee extensors are the knee joint, hip extensors are the hip joint, and all the spinal extensors are the, of the vertebral column, and then the extensors of the neck, they are all anti-gravity muscles. So in these anti-gravity muscles, the muscle will have this particular function very effectively. Compared to the flexor part, the anti-gravity muscle, the extensor parts of the whole body have got the stress reflex mechanism very strongly, very minutely. Okay. So as when we stand, what happens? Because of gravitational force, slightly what will happen? We will flex. When we flex, what will happen? The extensor muscle will be stretched. When there is a stretch, the muscle spindle in those muscles will be stimulated. Then they will send a signal and immediately a efferent signal will come to the same muscle and try to contract. Then what, what will happen? The moment you fall down, automatically the muscle will contract, you will come back. So that what happens when we stand? Without your knowledge, the swaying will be there. Minute swaying will be there. You won't understand, you won't recognize it, but it, hap it is happening. In the laboratory test, with a video camera, we have a lot of research were done, and this swaying, swaying has been observed. Okay, in the millimeters, the swaying will be taking place. Okay, in the powerful cameras, when we video capture a person who is standing without any action, still the swaying will be taking place. This swaying is because of the stretch reflex, the muscle contraction. As there is a slight fall down and slight contraction, and it is maintaining the standing posture continuously. One of the specialty of the stretch reflex mechanism is this stretch reflex mechanism will not fatigue easily. That is why we are able to stand uh, for a long time without any fatigue. Compared to other, other reflex, this reflex uh, is very much, uh, uh, ha it has got high endurance and it does not fatigue very easily. It is due to the receptor, it has got various uh, special features. The stretch reflex receptors are uh, non fetic receptors and also they are very very specific and very minute the exactly to the amount of stretch reflex stretch the amount of contraction will take place and only wherever whichever muscle is stretched only to that particular muscle the action will go it will not go to the other act, other, other muscle okay specifically to the muscle particular muscle the efferent impulse will come and that particular muscle only will contract so like this, it's very, very specific, very minute and very perfect. That is why the anti-gravitational uh, postures, the postural maintenance is taking place. So, and, and with the posture, of course, it, it is also providing a background for the gait. So for gait also, this particular stretch reflex is very, very important. Okay, for stability, balance, coordination, good posture, good gait, everything. For everything, the background base, the fundamental requirement is stretch reflex. If a person has got a very good stretch reflex, and the person will have all these functions perfectly. So with this knowledge, I I actually take the photography of this one and send it to you. Okay, you listen to this video uh, 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 lecture uh, repeatedly and try to understand the concept and summarize it and send it to me. That is what is the function, a small activity I, I would like to give it to you. Okay, I hope all of you would have understood this uh, concept. This, this has got a very important application in physiotherapy practice in the future. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day.